All right, what's up, you guys? What's going on? Hey, I'm I'm trying to find it on my screen too. I just found it. Let me refresh my page. What's up, guys? There it is. Derek Heron, what's up, bro? Cards and cars in the chat. Welcome to the Friday night evolution stream, boys. We got the Nick Strength and Pokemon 3D printed sign here. I'm trying to set it down without setting off my keyboard. Crash Coyote, that's a new name. What's up, bro? Dr. Neat, what's up? 88 Acosta, Jake Blanco, Anthony Isaac, Tom, what's up, bro? Lachlan, Wormy Fella Gamer, what's up, guys? All right, so we're going to be cracking into Evos tonight, hunting for that classic OG Charizard artwork. Whether it's reverse hollow or a hollow, we're looking for both of them. Been looking forward to this. Time to crack a beer, says JP2295. I'm actually drinking a little uh, Fitvine wine here. I'll try to go slower with this opening so we have more inter uh, more time to interact with the chat because I don't have anything to open after the Evos. We're going to do the giveaway from the last stream at the end of this video, and then we're going to introduce whatever I'm going to give away when this video is over for the next stream at the end of this video. Making the Bacon is here. Nick G is here. Trevor Brown, Eric Dunez, Anthony Kawasaki. What's up, guys? Shane Gonski, what's up, bro? Time to pull some Zard, says Shane. LOL, I got my Corona already half gone. Came from B is for build because I got your notification. What's B is for build? Yes, it's Friday. Lachlan Atkins with a dollar or five dollars Australian. Hit that like button with a glizzy. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. Why not Twitch for the live? Because I'm a YouTuber. Hey, Nick, did you hear about Ilya Golem? No, I didn't. What happened with him? Hey, Nick, hope you get that Charizard, says Nova Aus. Thank you, bro. Ethan Zillman, what's up, bro? Justin Cardenas, out with the boys, still join the stream. I appreciate it, man. I am curious now what happened with Ilya Golem. Car channel, okay. Greg BP is in the chat with a flex and a wrench. Flex and his wrench. I can smell the box when you open it. What's it smell like, bro? <laughs> Blue cheese. That logo is awesome, dude. It says College Gym Gains 101. Yeah, bro, I actually got this off of Etsy. It was only $15. I'll show it to you guys here. I'm actually pretty happy with this. So this guy that 3D prints these signs on uh, on Etsy, he has the Pokemon font like as one of his options. And I said, can you make me a sign for my YouTube channel? He made this for 15 bucks, and I could not be happier with it. I think it looks pretty freaking cool. I'm trying to set it up here without pressing any keys on my keyboard. Derek there we go. All right. Let me catch up on the chat. Let's go. I was waiting for the stream. Dan Pena in the chat, the Beedrill King himself. I have returned to claim my wrench, says Adone. You're going to have to take that up with Chris. All right, cool. I'll let you guys pick which side we start with. K K B T says hello. Where's Chris? Let me look at him. <laughs> He's right here. <laughs> First one I see is right. 
So we're going to start with the right-hand side, which is a change of pace. I think the past three or four openings in a row, we started with the left-hand side. Bodybuilding trading cards looking to be six as Mutba Mirza. Yeah, I think they look pretty cool. I'm excited. I've got my pack in the mail uh, from Big Three Media. I'll take a Donay's wrench. It says making the bacon. Making the bacon. You stop by every stream. Oh, man, I'm not logged into my... Uh... Here, let me log into my Nick Strength and Pokemon account on my computer. I'm going to give away some wrenches here. I forgot I wasn't logged in. I'm logged in as Nick Strength and Power right now. I wasn't logged in. I'm logged See? <laughs> All right. What's up, Nick? Says AR. Adone was timed out. By Lachlan, not by Chris. What a change of pace. I think uh, Lachlan and Chris just became allies. <laughs> Where is making the bacon? I'm trying to find your comment, bro. I was going to give you a wrench. All right, there we go. Making the bacon, comment and let me know if that worked. I had to switch accounts, just make sure you've got a wrench next to your name. Trevor Brown says, I don't miss the streams. Just saying, bro. I'm assuming you mean that as in you don't miss a single stream, like you stop by every stream, but that could be interpreted as you don't miss them when I'm not around, like you don't give a shit. Code card for you guys. And again, I'm going to try to take it slower tonight because I feel like the past couple streams have been a little bit fast. I want to spend some more time talking to you guys in the chat, so we'll try to go slower with these packs to build up the tension. Charmeleon is a good way to start it out. Man, I think that Nick Strength and Power sign looks really good in these live streams. That's exactly what I got it for, was to have something in the background. I think it looks, especially with this blue play mat. Charmeleon. Charizard Spirit Link. Super Potion. Go as slow as Chris. <laughs> if I go as slow as Chris, this whole box will take six hours. Machop. Pikachu, another good one to get. I'll put that in its own pile. Pikachu will start out the tertiary hits pile. Magnemite. Ponyta. Lauren De La Rosa says good luck. Thank you, Lauren. Laura. Any relation to John Delarosa? Sandshrew. Reverse Hollow Haunter. How do you print with two colors on a 3D printer? So I'm guessing he printed two separate prints and stuck them together. And I think we have a far fetched or a chancy behind here. Or oh, it's a radicate, even worse. Um, so what I think he did, I think he printed um, the blue first. And then he like downsized the print and printed the filling as yellow. And he probably super glued each. I'm thinking that's the only way you could do that because I don't think you can straight print from a 3D printer two different colors because you got to feed in the two different uh, the two different plastics. You can't do that at the same time. It would be kind of hard unless you've got like a super expensive like multi spouted uh, 3D printer. But for 15 bucks, man, I just don't think you can beat this. Dual nozzle, okay. The dual nozzle 3D printer. So I've got the, what do I have? My 3D printer is only one nozzle. I can't remember. What, it's called the Ender 3, the Ender 3 Pro. So eradicate. We will rip him for the chat. Hello, I opened, hello, open an Evolutions pre-release box only if you feel lucky. And do you have any Evolution staff cards? Dude, that's one thing I've been looking into since I've been going so hard for Evolutions, these pre-release boxes. For those that don't know, every pre-release box comes with one of four holo cards, and one of the four holo cards that you can get is a pre-release Charizard for Evolutions. So it has, like, it's the regular Charizard holo. That's what we're looking for in this set. But it's got the stamp on it that says Evolution. So it's a pre-release promo card. And it's really hard to get the Charizard out of those pre-release kits. And I think... What are those pre-release kits going for? Like $1,000 right now? And you get, what, four packs in them too? So you get four packs, and you have a chance at getting that Charizard promo card. I don't know. It just seems really risky because you can get what? You can get a Machamp. What are the other two cards? Now I can't think. You can get Charizard and Machamp, I know for sure. I think a Mewtwo. Charizard, Machamp, and Mewtwo. I'm, that's something I'm looking for. 
Actually, Pokemon Card Squad, they've got a YouTube channel. They actually DM'd me uh, offering to sell me one. Yep, I was just about to say. He just commented in the chat, Pokemon Card Squad, I have that pre-release Zard for sale right now. I was just about to shout you out, bro. I was going to say you're the first person that's offered to sell me one. But honestly, debating on buying one of those pre-release kits has been something that I've been thinking about for a very long time now. It's just, uh, I mean, what'd you say, Chris? It's lagging. It's lagging. Mine looks good. Ilya Golem had a massive abscess from an infection in his leg. He got a shot. It was pretty, he got from a shot. It was pretty gross. Did he post a picture of it on Instagram? I don't, I don't even know if I follow him on Instagram or not. Pokemon Card Squad says that's epic, bro. Here's a code card for you guys. But yeah, to answer the question, I do not yet have a pre-release Charizard, and I have been thinking about getting a pre-release kit, but they're pretty expensive for the risk that you're taking because pretty much, I mean, the main card that anybody wants out of that is the Charizard. I don't know what that Charizard's going for in a PSA 10, but Last Lunch is in the stream. What's up? Long time lurker on Kobe streams donating the milk. The last Kobe stream that I was watching, I saw last lunch donate a bunch of uh, milk glasses on there. Machamp, Gyarados, Charizard, and Mewtwo. Okay, so I knew Machamp, Charizard, and Mewtwo. I forgot about the Gyarados. So I guess they're not bad cards to get because the Mewtwo is in a hollow variation, right? So the Mewtwo that you get out of these packs is a non-hollow rare, but the Mewtwo in the pre-release kit is a hollow pre-release Mewtwo. So, I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess. Volpix. Rattata. Leaf Energy. Poliwag. Reverse Hollow Seal. And Speak of the Devil, Mewtwo. So perfect example, the pre-release Mewtwo is hollow, and this Mewtwo that you can get out of Evolutions is just a non-hollow rare. And by the way, I've been noticing, pulling these out, the centering from top to bottom looks pretty bad on these. I guess from left to right it looks pretty bad too. You can see that here and here are a lot thicker. You should have used the timeout as an opportunity to wash Adone. What does that, wash him? Atlantis is in the chat. What's up, bro? Cards and Cars, Last Lunch, Adone, good guys. Maulana Habib, what's up? Love from India, bro, says Anthony Isaac Tom. We love you too, Anthony. Who said I didn't wash as Adone? Adone, I don't know if I've asked you this before, but where are you from? Your name is very, uh, very unique. It sounds kind of, I guess, Greek. Greek or maybe uh, some kind of Mediterranean. What are we going to do about these damn people buying up all this stuff and then selling elite boxes for 300, says Kevin Shelby. I don't know what exactly you're talking about there. How many Zarods you got, says Pristine Pro. So right now with PSA, I think I've got a total of, I don't know, I want to say 25 or 30 Charizards at PSA right now. And I just got an email from PSA about my express order that I sent in a couple months ago. And they're just now getting my express order into the processing phase. So we'll see how long it takes from processing. But it already went through research and ID. It's done with that. And it's now processing. So hopefully very soon we're going to have a uh, PSA unboxing here. Polyworld. Oh, I just saw a Phil Heath comment. What did that say? At 10,000 subs, we got to reach out to Phil Heath and see if he'll do a Pokemon box battle. That would be interesting. Over 7,000 subs now. That's awesome, Nick, says Atlantis. Thank you, bro. Been watching you since 20K subs. Good to see you. Have you been watching me from the future, Robin? <laughs> or are you talking about the main channel? Pidgeot Spirit Link, Magikarp. Jamie LaRose is in the chat. I will never mispronounce your name again, bro. I used to pronounce it Jamie LaRose. Seal. Polywag. Yo, Nick, what's up? I got a Bolt Hunt, Bolton V10 and pulled an FA Skyla. Nice, a full art Skyla. 
Have you heard of MNT Card Grading? It's a Canadian grading company, and it looks like Beckett. I have not. Bridget's Beauty. Who is that? Oh, I thought, I was about to say, is that Nikhil? Bro, if Nikhil comes on the stream, I want him banned immediately. If that's Nikhil making a fake account with my girlfriend's name, I don't think so because he spelled it wrong. But then again, I guess Nikhil spelled it wrong when he was trying to find her Instagram too. Austin Quizada. How's it going today, Nick? Oh, it's someone else's girlfriend. So Chris is still doing the guy a favor by banning the girlfriend from the chat. Oh, it's Shane's girlfriend. Okay. So, Shane, I guess it's up to you. Do we ban her or do we leave her? Because I like Shane. Shane is a long-time lurker in these streams. If Shane wants her gone, Chris will get her gone. <laughs> Ooh, hello. Hello. And it is a Hitmonchan. I don't know why that looked that looked uh, like a fire type to me. It looked kind of orange. Hitmonchan Hollow, still worthy of at least a penny sleeve. Atlanta says one of his names is Chris's God, right? Yep, that's one of his names. He actually, uh, after last week's live stream, he got on and commented a bunch of videos from another account talking all kinds of crap about Chris, talking all kinds of crap about me. It's like, bro, we banned you for a reason because you spam the chat and then you stalk people's girlfriends. It's like, there's very basic rules of engagement with a live stream. And one of those rules is don't go stalking people's personal girlfriends and stuff. And the other rule is don't spam. It's pretty simple. So Hitmonchan has been secured. She's cool, I suppose, as long as she doesn't try to pull me away from one of those streams. <laughs> That's messed up, bro, says Daddy Beast Games. Yeah, man, I've been pretty fortunate. Atlanta says, definitely agreed. Some people are crazy. I'm, I've been pretty for, fortunate on the main channel with a million subscribers. I've never really had any weird experience, um, like anything concerning or anything alarming, no stalkers, no, nothing super weird. I mean, you get your typical hate comments here and there, but I've never had any weird stalkers or anything on the main channel, um, nor almost at 1.1 million over there. But this channel so far... I, you know, this channel with uh, Nikhil, he's almost pushed it further than people have really pushed it on the main channel, which is surprising. I mean, kind of a weird dude. Metapod. Devolution spray. Energy. Hey, Nick, do you think you'll ever go back on stage? Actually, my buddy Zach is competing this weekend, so I, I think he's already in bed because it's a day before his show. Um, but Zach is competing in Lexington, Kentucky at the NGA, I think it's called the Natural, I guess the Natural Kentucky, I guess. He's competing in men's physique. It's his lowest weight that he's ever competed at. He weighed in at 156. He's regularly like 210. He's about six foot tall. Um, so wish Zach some good luck. He's competing this weekend. But to answer your question, will I ever compete again? Probably not. Pokemon Card Squad says, Nikhil is definitely the dislike I always got on every stream. I feel the same way, bro. I think he was doing the same thing over here from all of his accounts. Onyx, Growlithe, Machop, another Pikachu, a reverse Voltorb. I almost thought we were going to get a reverse Pikachu. Now this looks like fire. Can't tell if my vision is just bad after that Hitmonchan. I could have sworn that Hitmonchan was a fire type. Kobe is definitely faded right now. I hope Kobe stops by. Not Charizard. I can't see. I can't see the numbers from my iPhone screen. Arcanine. So Arcanine is the 18 out of 108. Okay. I know you can tell from the number which number is Charizard, but. Watching this through my iPhone, I can't see the number that well. Please, what is Asher Tab saying? 
Asher tab. Charizard, please. Oh, okay. Cool. He was just praying for a Charizard. Asher tab is cool. I just kept seeing the please comments, and I was like, what is he saying? What is he asking for? He was just asking for a Charizard. Asher tab was timed out by Chris. You don't need to time out Asher. I, I couldn't tell what he was saying, if he was spamming or not. He was just praying for a Charizard. Have you bought April's edition of the Jumbo cards yet? No, I have not, actually. You're talking about the, uh, starter, the starter packs. Yeah, I have not. I saw someone open them. I forget who it was. It's this girl. She's got big old titties. You guys might know who I'm talking about. There's this girl on YouTube... She's always got her titties out. She's got some tattoos, and she opens Pokemon cards. She's only got like a 1,000 subscribers, but I think I saw her open them, and that's how I realized they were out. I forget what her name is now, though. My maximum gold blue eyes arrived today, Chris. Chris, you know you should join Kobe's, uh, Kobe's Discord, and you can post pictures of... Uh, I've seen her, Nick. I had to watch once. You guys know who I'm talking about. I'm not subscribed to her, but you see her thumbnails pop up, and she's got, like, tig old bitties in the thumbnail. I'll try to think of her name during the course of this stream, but you, you guys have probably seen the thumbnails, man. The thumbnails are just nothing but, uh, nothing but chest bags, bro. Porygon. Full Heel. Poliwhirl. Staryu. Fighting Energy, shout out to Pokey Kobe. Laura De Rosa, De La Rosa says, that's her hook. I've seen her once, that's her hook. <laughs> She's following the Frosted Caribou business model. Onyx, except Frosted Caribou, I think, uses her thighs more in her thumbnails than uh, her tiggle bitties. Sandshrew, a Nine Tails break card. And what do we have behind here? Potentially, you could still have a decent hit behind here. And we have a Starmie. Would you say that Evolution's pre-release PSA cards would be a good investment? Low pop. I would say almost anything Evolution's um, would be a decent investment right now. As far as modern sets are concerned, I think modern sets are a risky investment. But Evolution's being a semi-modern from 2016... Um, if I were to heavily invest financially in any relatively modern set like the past five years, I would pick Evolutions, any product from Evolutions over any other uh, any other more modern set. I haven't seen anybody comment that girl's name on in the chat yet. She did a video, she did another video that popped up in my recommended. It was talking about how she wants to apply at Target so that she can figure out what's going on with the trading card supply. Her channel is The Confusing Words. I think that's right. I think that's the name of her channel. That's what Anthony said. But she did a video saying she was going to apply for a job at Target just so she can confront scalpers that are trying to buy the trading cards or something or figure out if there's employees like selling the cards like through the back door or something like that. I actually like, I like some of the videos that I've seen from her. But it was definitely the tick old biddies that got me to subscribe. And we do have a white code card here. Actually, I didn't subscribe yet. I'm about to have to Google it and see if that's her name. You said the confusing words? What's up, amazing kid? What's up, my guy? So, Pokemon Card Squad, I don't know if, I don't think I responded to your message yet or not. Uh, but what was the, uh, did you pull that pre release Charizard straight from the box? So, was it. Did you buy it, or was it straight out of the box, like you opened the pre-release yourself? Because I might still be interested in that. Kakuna. Pokedex. Atlanta says, Nick is pulling the Zard in the 8 to 10 packs from now range. Okay. Sounds like a safe range. Fairy Energy. LOL, it's hard to focus on what she's saying, bro. Onyx. Staryu. Do duo. A Weedle? Oh man, I I don't know why, but I love when this happens, even when it's a shitty card. When you get a regular card and then the reverse right behind it. I just think that's so aesthetically pleasing to see that just consecutively. Weedle and That's not an Arcanine. 
Is it a nine tails? Guys, I think it's a nine tails. It's a nine tails, I think. I think nine tails is number 15. What? Yeah, it's a nine tails. I was pretty sure nine tails is 15. Surprisingly enough, out of all the evolutions that I've opened, I feel like I haven't gotten a nine tails hollow in a pretty long time. Frosted, <laughs> I'm not gonna read that one. Just here for the tail job. That's a decent pull, says Nick G. Sick Zard, bruh. I'm actually gonna have to buy a bunch more boxes of evolutions because I went to my other house today and I could have sworn I had three unopened boxes in my safe. Hold on, let me read this comment. 60 card says Zard is 12. Okay. So I thought I had three more boxes of evolutions in my gun safe at my, at my other house. And I went in there and opened it up today and I only had one left. So hopefully nobody stole my other evolutions boxes, but I think I was just wrong and I only had one left. So I think I'm going to buy another case tonight. I'm going to buy a case of six and that should last us another month and a half on this channel. I think those are still going for about $6,000. Jay Ataro in the chat. What's up? I think Chris uh, Chris said he thinks you blocked him or that he has you blocked, Jay Ataro, because he said he can never see you in the uh, Pokemon Card Squad. says, I got them from a local shop in Ottawa, but I'll DM you the story. It's crazy. Yeah, if you've got time, bro, by all means, DM me that story. I would love to uh, hear more about the condition of the Zard and how you got it. That would definitely increase my interest. Chris says, I see her now. So Jay must have blocked Chris, unless Chris just unblocked her and now he can see her. <laughs> Take a drink of water here. Now Jay says she can't see Chris. Trunk monkey is a simp, says Chris. RZ Fitness TV. What's up, bro? It's good to see you. RZ Fitness TV just got his, uh, was it a Charmander or Charmeleon that I signed and sent to you, bro? I think it was a Charmander. I was happy to see that because I sent them uh, through the post office and all I did was put a stamp on an envelope and put the card inside and I was hoping they would get where they're going and RZ Fitness TV confirmed that he received his. I was happy to see that. Professor Oaks Hint, Tangela. <laughs> Zach. Zach is always trying to get the conversation revolving around that controversial shit. Weedle, Sandshrew, both. Oh yeah, I did give you both, awesome. So Charmander and Charmeleon. Okay, that's why I was confused. Ghastly. Magikarp. Ooh. Reverse Ponyta. This is fighting. Doug Trio. Shout out to Chris. Chris, you owe me a hot dog donation with those three hot dogs in the dirt. So what's a dollar forty nine times three? Three or four? Would it be four forty seven? Four forty six? Or am I way off? I want to say 446. No, 447. What am I? I don't even know what I'm talking about. Doug Trio off to the side. Ooh, I just saw. I saw a bodybuilding question. Let me see if I can. Who just got timed out? Let me see what we got here. Ooh, cards and cars doing the Lord's work. I appreciate you, brother. You beat Chris to the punch. Uh, what was the bodybuilding question? Will Kai compete in the 2021 Olympia? I believe so. But I think that the Olympia is smart enough that they're not going to give him a special invitation. I think he's going to have to work for it, and I think he's going to have to qualify on his own volition. <laughs> Zach says, hey, controversy gets eyeballs, bro. I'm just looking out for you. Actually, after that stream that we did where we were talking about the vaccine and stuff, I shouldn't have even said the word, but uh, after we were talking about that, I had like three people DM me and said, hey, bro, I don't want you to get canceled. You might want to not make that episode live. Jay Taro says, Nick, I love the logo print. Thank you, Jay. I'm glad you like it. I am very happy with it for the price I paid. It was only $15 on Etsy, and I could not be happier with how it turned out. I think it looks fantastic. Potion. Kakuna. Chris doing the Lord's work. That's why Chris is God. How much is a booster box, says Caleb Bryan. Right now, well, when I bought them, they were around 1000 bucks. I don't know if they're more or less than that now, but I need to buy probably six more tonight to stock up for future streams. Diglett, shout out to Chris for doing the Lord's work. 
Gasly. Caterpie. Oh, shit. <laughs> Energy. Reverse Nidorino. Thoughts on Callum Von Moger? I'm not a fan. Pulled my champ for the memes. And of course, we got a far fetched, which it's on site. Love me some big old Diglett. And in his username is DP. DP Fitness 23. DP loves at least two Diglets at the same time. I don't know if he's ready for all three with the Doug Trio, but with that name DP, I think he likes at least two Diglets. Angel Mendez with a $5 donation. Thank you for that, bro. I'd love to get assigned him a choke from NSP. Seems like a good mix of your channels. Angel, do you live in the United States? If you live in the United States, I got you. That $5 donation should cover the cost of a stamp, so if you're in the United States, I'll send you one. I don't think... Have we pulled him a choke yet? I don't know if we have. Angel, have I sent you a card already? I feel like I sent someone someone in California something from a giveaway. Um, but Angel, if you remind me later on in the stream when we do pull him a choke, because I don't think I don't think we've pulled one yet. I don't remember pulling one. But if we do pull one, remind me. Just remind me, and I will uh, sign it. Did you want me to sign it? I'll sign it so I remember. Lucas Dalton G says, Yo, Nick, my boys are tripping on shrooms. Can they get a shout out? Shout out to Lucas's boys tripping on those vegetables. Boys, I hope you are spinning. Chris with the 99 cent glizzy donation. Atlantis with the $1.49 glizzy donation. Getting that glizzy train going. Bill Strife says, Nick, do you have anything from the Wizards Team Rocket set? I do. Um, the only thing I've got. I think I bought two packs when Kobe was opening the unlimited Team Rocket packs, and I think the best rare that I got out of that was a non-hollow um, Dark Blastoise, which was pretty cool. I do have a Dark Charizard unlimited that I got on eBay, and I think I have one of the uh, hollow energy cards from Team Rocket, but I don't have a very big Team Rocket collection to answer your question. Anthony Isaac Tom says, I would love to see Roly on stage. Hopefully, Roly qualifies. I see a lot of mushrooms in the chat. Hopefully, Roly qualifies. The reason that he couldn't make it to the Olympia this past year was that um, the virus got him stuck in Istanbul, Turkey, and he was not able to travel back over to the States. DP Fitness says, laugh my ass off. Dude, I just came to stop by, so peace. See you next Friday. Amazing kid. Thank you for stopping by, bro. I'm sorry if we're going a little bit too late for you. I, I believe in the last stream you said you were younger, so... Maybe you got to go to bed early, but uh, thank you for stopping by anyway. I appreciate that. Are you ever going to post on your vlog channel again? I know I've been terrible with the vlog channel, but honestly, when I, in the process of moving, I'm definitely going to film the home gym that I've got now here at this house, and I'm going to film the transition of moving this gym. So first I'm going to do a gym tour of what we've got here, and then I'm going to film the transition of moving it to the new house and then adding more equipment to it, and I'm going to put all those on the vlog channel. Lachlan with a $1.49 uh, Glizzy Australian. I don't want to miss that. Atlantis with another $1.49 Glizzy. Did I miss another donation? I think I did. Matty Preworky with a $0.99 cent Glizzy. Greg BP with a $1.49 Canadian Glizzy. Cards and Cars with a $1.49 Canadian, or yeah, $1.49 Glizzy. Thank you guys. I, I didn't mean to miss those. It was going so fast. See, that's the problem with me taking my time on these packs. I start talking and then I get distracted. So what am I looking for here? That, that's going to be a cool video. Can't wait to see that. Awesome. Yeah, I'm glad you're looking out for that Pokemon card squad. Um, so I'm looking for a Machoke, right? A Machoke for Angel. Angel was his name. I was a little bit tipsy earlier, but I'm, I think I was sober enough to stream because it's been a few hours, so I'm still a little groggy. We got a white code card, so we got something good here. Brandon Stew with a $1.49 Canadian glizzy. That Canadian bacon, my guy. I appreciate it. Nick is getting viewers so quick now, says Trunk Monkey. Ah, we got about 100 right now. I think in past streams we've had, I think the peak that we had was like 275. Oh, wait a minute. First card, Machoke. Angel, are you in the chat? Let me sign this for Angel. I'm going to have to write his name on here so I remember who it was going to. The Russian accent was great last stream. 
I don't even know if I could do one now. I got to be drunk enough that the Russian accent just flows naturally. I think with a little bit of vodka, the Russian just comes out. Um, I'll give him the NSP with the barbell. And I'll sign it. And this is to Angel. Okay. I'll try to remember that because I didn't see Angel in the chat. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't see Angel. Okay. Angel, I'm going to set this off to the side. If you remember, just email me or message me on Instagram. Okay, $5 donation. Yeah, buddy, I'll hit you on IG. Thank you, bro. You don't have to do that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, just message me your uh, uh, mailing address, and I'll get this on an envelope. Who knows how long it's going to take because the USPS is crazy right now. But hopefully it gets to you pretty soon. I think I can handle all three white diglets. Oh, I can't read the rest of that comment. <laughs> but I'll show it anyway. I think it got hidden automatically. Venusaur Spirit Link. Potion. Electabuzz. Vulpix. Pokemon Card Squad says, Please, guys, if you're enjoying the stream, please hit that like button. Thank you, bro. Leaf Energy. Poliwag. Reverse Raticate. I don't think I... I don't really like Rat Raticate, but I feel like I don't get too many uh, Reverse Raticates. And a Raichu Hollow. Not too shabby. Trunk Monkey says, I didn't make fun of anyone. Hey, I told you a joke. I think I missed something in the chat. Shane Gonski says, I can confirm I was the first to like this video. No big deal. Thank you, Shane. I appreciate that. Have you bought off of PWCC yet? I have not. Chris, have you? Did you buy your Charizard off of PWCC? No. Oh. Laura says, have you tried the Travis Scott Cacti drink? I've heard of it, but I have not tried it. Is it any, is it any good? I'm drinking this Fit Vine... Low carb, low calorie white wine. I forget if it was, I don't think it was Chardonnay. Was it champagne? I don't remember what it was. I'm not a very big wine connoisseur, but when I drink, I try to watch the calories and watch the carbs. That's why I drink the seltzers um, in white or dry red wine. But yeah, the cacti drink, I think, is just a seltzer, right? It's a whole saga, Nick. Don't mind it. Just open packs for the rest of the stream. Is there drama in the chat? I must have missed it. <laughs> I'll let you guys uh I'll let you guys figure it out in the chat. I must have missed what happened. Have you seen the Charmander Toys R Us promos? Oh bro, I think I've got one right here. Hold on. Oh, I don't know where it's at. I had one over here. I have a graded one. I've got a PSA 9. Of the uh, Toys R Us Charmander. I think that card is awesome, dude. I love that Toys R Us Charmander. Chris bought a Piplup Toys R Us promo. Pour a little out for DMX. Yeah, man. RIP DMX. We talked about it on last night's stream. But at the time, we didn't know for sure. And I guess now today, it's officially confirmed. And also, RIP Prince Philip. Open Unified Minds is no man seen. If I had some, I would. Revive. Misty's Determination. Here's a Secret Rare. We'll put that with the Pikachu. Secret Rare Executor. Poliwag. Voltorb. Weedle. Rattata. Tangela. Ooh, there we go. Someone was just talking about the Toys R Us Charmander. So the Toys R Us Charmander is just a regular hollow. This is a reverse, but that's the same uh, same artwork and stuff. Centering actually does not look too bad. And behind the Mander. Aw, oh, are you shitting me? You guys know what this is. I think the only grass-type Pokemon in this set that's a rare, there's only one, and it's a Beedrill. I don't know why we have to do this. 
Wait, Chris, how was the joke? Wait, so who's arguing right now? Is it Chris and Trunk Monkey? Dan Pena says, let's go. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dan, if that caused you pain to watch that Beedrill be exterminated. Anyone else get a little chips out of the reverse? Get little chips out of the reverse. What do you mean little chips? I think I spit on it there, though. This one actually looks pretty decent to me. Oh, there's a little, a little whitening on that corner, I think. Yeah, I don't know what that is. But in any case, it's not going to PSA anytime soon. Any other sets you can open? I'm going to have to really go through my stuff at my other house. I think I've got a couple boxes of Darkness Ablaze. I think I've got a box of Vivid over there. Um, and I could have sworn... I swear I thought I had two more boxes of Evolution somewhere. I thought I had three boxes total, but I'm going to have to dig through my stuff and figure it out. If not, DP Fitness says, All right, Nick, peace out, bye. DP, thanks for stopping by. I don't know if I missed something. I still can't tell if people are arguing in the chat or not. <laughs> Open an Evolution's pre-release box. Here's another Machoke. Shout out to Angel. Venusaur Spirit Link. That comment I just made was pretty bad. I'm sorry. Nick's next video is stealing. <laughs> Seal. Poliwag. Tangela. Oh. Voltorb. Reverse Super Potion. And Electrode. Open Cosmic Eclipse. The Secret Rares are, off, are awesome. I think we already did open a box of Cosmic on this channel. It was pretty good. I did thoroughly enjoy the Cosmic Eclipse. Chris says, Friday nights are for us to get sloppy in the chat. Throw them jabs, brothers. I ain't sipping for Chris, says Trunk Monkey. Honestly, I love that username. I love to say it. It just has, it rolls off your tongue. Trunk Monkey. It sounds like some kind of slur, but it's not. <laughs> You'd be wanting that big wrench from Chris. Trunk monkey stop sipping for Chris. I'm trying to see if who's teaming up here, like who's on the same side. So are 60 cards and Chris on the same team here? That just made me LOL, literally. <laughs> which part? <laughs> which part, Atlantis? No one cares about your Magikarp 69 cars. <laughs> and we have the Great White Hope, a white code card. What's the best pool you've had so far? Honestly, we haven't pulled damn near anything, but honestly, we're not even a fourth of the way through the box, I don't think. Well, we're a little over a fourth of the way through. I told you guys I was going to take a little bit slower, and that is exactly what I'm doing tonight. So what, we've been going for 45 minutes, and we're about a fourth of the way through. Charmeleon. Maybe I'll speed it up a little bit. Charizard Spirit Link. I feel like the first pack we opened, we got Charmeleon and Charizard Spirit Link. Super Potion. You should buy a set of Evolution's pre-release cards. Examinator, I've seen your comments. And a Charmander, bro. Hold on, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Guys, we know this pack was a white code card. We got Charizard Spirit Link, Charmeleon, and a Charmander in this pack. I just want to run that back in case there's a Charizard in this pack. We haven't had any crazy hits yet. And we had a white code card, guys. This was the code card I just got. Could this be a super magic Charizard pack? Seal. Star you. Do duo. Ponyta. Machoke reverse. 
I think I need to add this to Angel's. Uh, I'm going to send this to you as well, Angel. I'm going to send you two Machokes. And behind Machoke Reverse. Oh, man. It might be a Chansey. I can't tell if it's a Chansey, a Farfetch'd, or a Rat. But it's not a Charizard. I think it's a Rat. Oh, it's a Chansey. Centering a little bit off from top to bottom. No PSA 10s in the population at all of this Chansey, so... Luckily, before PSA shut down, I sent 11 chances to PSA that I thought might be candidates for a 10, but I don't know, man. This whole PSA thing has got me depressed. I wish we could send more cards to PSA. Pretty much every two weeks after we opened, because uh, I've been doing these evolution streams every Friday, pretty much every two weeks I was starting to build a new submission for PSA. I've sent in five or six submissions now. Kind of sucks not being able to send the cards that we're pulling to people. Just send them straight to PSA. DP Fitness says, I'm back. I had to play. Oh, can't read that. <laughs> DP Fitness, you reckless, reckless fella. One, two, three. Adone, I have shown mercy to you tonight, says Chris. Try SGC. What do you mean CGC? I've been saying all week, I've been talking to Chris, I've been saying, man, I need to send some cards to BGS, and I still haven't done it. I will show my fist in your face, says Adone. Sounds like a threat. we got 112 watching right now, only 60 likes. Ooh, we got three Nikhil's that disliked the video. We need to get this to 100 likes. We can't let Nikhil win. We got over 100 people watching. We need to get this to 100 likes. Nick Hill has been playing games on that dislike button. Man, I just now noticed that. Kakuna, Pokedex, Porygon, Machop. Wow, the people are speaking their mind, overpowering that Nick Hill. We're already at 71 likes, 72. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Growlithe. Another Pikachu. This is the third Pikachu of the box. Psychic Energy. Charmander. Ooh. Another Evolution Line pack. Charmander and right behind it, a Reverse Hollow Charmeleon. And we had a Pikachu in this pack. Now, the next card behind here should be our Hollow or our Rare. If there's a Charizard behind here... That would be pretty cool. I love to see these cool packs where they've got the whole evolution line. I've never opened a pack yet where you had the Charmander, the Charmeleon, and the Charizard. I'm hoping that one of these evolution streams, because we're gonna do so many on this channel, I'm hoping one of these evolution or one of these evolutions openings, we're gonna pull the whole evolution line of Charizard in one pack. I think that would be so sick. Will it be this pack? It will not. <laughs> it looks like it's going to be a rat or a far-fetched. Or, oh, it's a far-fetched. I see the leak. But not bad. With the reverse hollow Charmeleon, that is deserving of a penny sleeve. And prior to PSA shutting down, I sent 25 reverse Charmeleons and 26 reverse Charmanders to PSA. Hoping for at least one PSA 10 in addition to the probably dozen reverse Charizards that I sent. I would like to have the whole evolution line in a PSA 10 in reverse. But yeah, how sick would that be if you pulled the whole evolution line out of one pack? First you had a Char uh, Charmander, then you had a Charmeleon, then you had a Charizard Spirit Link, and the last card in that pack was a Charizard. How cool would that be? And the name of the set is Evolutions. Maybe one of these streams, I'll do that for you guys. I still love that opening I did on this channel where I had back-to-back -back reverse hollow Charizard and regular OG hollow Charizard in one pack after another. Chris, I will burn this diglet right now. Keep it up. I'm seriously missing whatever's going on in the chat, but no matter what's happening, I love you guys. 
We really haven't pulled anything this first half of the box. I guess history is repeating itself because every time that we do a stream and I let you guys pick, every time you guys pick the left-hand side, the left-hand side is just heat. We have yet to have a box where the right-hand side was just pure heat. Need a Reno. Revive. Vulpix. Nidoran. Lachlan says, it's because you went right side. That's what I'm saying, bro. But I had to listen to the chat. You guys control this. You guys control this stuff, man. Lift clutches up. Rattata. Electabuzz. Reverse Nidoran. And we know what this guy is. There's only one grass type with a star on it in evolutions. He's got a big old pointy thing between his legs. Who is it? Speed drill, guys. Who do you think it was? It's not Ron Jeremy, it's Speed drill. He got that big old thing on him. And at this point, Two bead drills in the same box. Two bead drills in the first half of the box. Every bead drill from this point forward gets ripped on sight. And actually, guys, I'm excited because um, I just got the paint done. So the paint is finished at my house. I just made the final payment today. I did, I did three separate payments of $7,000 for the paint. So the paint's done on the house. And I've actually got a really cool idea to build a separate studio. So in my office... I'm going to put a separate part of my office for these Pokemon streams. So the whole desk, I'm going to have it set up with a light box so that the light is reflected evenly from all the corners of the, from all the sides of the desk and the cards are lit up real good. And I'm going to have a nice backdrop. I'm going to have this in the background. So I'm going to make a designated area just for opening these packs at the office in the new house. I think it's going to be, uh, I think it's going to make this look a little bit more professional because this right now, this is my Nick Strength and Power desk. It's the same computer I make the bodybuilding videos. Big Z7337 says, nice. Was the money for the paint worth it? Honestly, man, it's a really big house, so I think it was a pain for them to paint it. And I think that much paint, that much square footage being the color of it being changed. And we got a white code card here, so it looks like we got a hit. With the, with the color of that much area being changed, the difference that it made in the house was very significant. So I think the price... I still think the price was unfair, to be honest, but I think the difference that it made was very tangible, and I'm really happy with it. But it did take me several times of doing a walkthrough with a guy that painted it, and I was telling him, I was leaving him notes, and I was walking through with him. I was like, bro, you got to fix this. You got to clean this up. They were leaving a mess everywhere they went, and they weren't cleaning it up unless I told them to clean it up. So it was just, I felt like a Karen. I felt like I was becoming my parents because every chance that I got, I had to tell the guy to fix this or fix that, and it was... Um, Chris, do not ban that guy. Trunk monkey message deleted. You guys can have your argument, but don't, don't delete his messages and don't ban him. Let him, let him make his points, bro. We're trying to keep it democratic here. If I, okay, let me, let me put down this gauntlet right now. If I see somebody get banned unjustifiably, the banner responsible is losing that wrench on site. Tonight we gotta we just gotta hash it out in the chat, guys. If you guys are having an issue. Unless it's unless somebody says something crazy, then they can get banned. But damn, I thought you were gone, Nick. Was looking for your channel. No, man, I'm still here, Chase. Another Pikachu, the fourth Pikachu of this half of the box. Any Zards tonight? No Zards on the first half. Chris is the 0.1% of germs that Lysol didn't kill. <laughs> that was a good one. Guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not a fan of Farfetch when it's in that rare slot, but I think this actually looks pretty This looks pretty good. I like it in reverse. Ooh, what do we have here? I think a Slowbro or a Pidgeot. Okay. Mega Pidgeot EX. 60 cards, I'm laughing. <laughs> Chris, 
I could have confused you for Kobe for a second, bro. Laughing, bro. laughing. So anybody watching, you guys like this new Nick Strength and Pokemon sign? I think this is the best fifteen dollars I ever spent in my life. Is anybody else's allergies going crazy this past week? This week has sucked for me, dude. I gotta blow my nose because this week has been. I mean, my allergies have been driving me crazy. I don't know if you guys live like in the Midwest or not. But for me, I've been miserable. And that's part of why I haven't made as many videos this week. Um, typically, I upload on this channel at least every other day on Nick Strength and Pokemon. Uh, but so many days this week, I couldn't even talk, dude. I mean, like my voice gets so, I get so nasally and congested with my allergies. The allergies have been miserable, man. I've been taking my Zyrtec every day, in some cases twice a day. It's not doing anything for me. So what I, what I had been doing is on the days that I didn't post on Nick Strength and Power, I would post on Nick Strength and Pokemon. But the days that I didn't post on Nick Strength and Power this week, I didn't post on that channel because I could barely talk because my nose was so jacked up and my voice sounded, it just sounded stupid. So the reason why I didn't post on Nick Strength and Power is the same reason that I didn't post on Nick Strength and po Pokemon. So next week, I'm going to have a lot more content for you guys. I just got paid from one of my big sponsors, Built Bar. You guys might have seen. I've done a lot of ads for Built Bar over the past couple months. And what I did with them was I signed a contract with them for the amount of uh, nine videos. So I signed a nine-video contract with Built Bar. So they paid me that full amount for all nine videos just a day ago. So I'm going to put that money towards all kinds of new product for this channel. So... I think that will enhance the experience over here. Maybe we can, I would like to pick a new day besides Friday and do two streams a week. And like, maybe we do like a Wednesday stream and it's just any random box, or maybe I'll let you guys pick the box, like in the community tab or something, or I'll let you guys vote. But I would like to get two days per week, a scheduled stream on two separate nights. So we're going to figure that out. And hopefully I can buy enough boxes of, of, of stuff that we can make that happen. So let me know in the chat if you guys think that would be cool. I'm thinking Wednesday. I'm thinking Wednesday would be a good night to do like a middle of the week. You guys have had a couple crappy days at work. Break up your work week a little bit with a stream on Wednesday. Star you. Do Duo. Weedle. Reverse Machop. Angel. You know what, bro? I'm going to send you this as well. Angel wanted a Machoke. I gave him the regular Machoke. I signed it. I gave him the reverse hollow Machoke, and he's getting the Machop, bro. Shout out to Angel. And behind that, we have a Dugong. But Angel, bro, um, I'll check my Instagram when I get off of here, but just send me your address, and I got you. I just saw Kobe. Kobe, what's good, brother? Kobe, are you turned? Everybody was saying you're about to get faded. I'm right there with you, bro. I'm almost done with my glass here. This is my third glass of that Fit Vine high-quality white wine. Angel Mendez. Oh, bro, another $5. You don't have to do that, bro. Been buying four Evo packs weekly through Amazon, putting off focus on buying a home, seeing you hyped about your new crib and opening packs of the fix. Bro, thank you so much, bro. When I get off of here, man, I'll check my DMs. I'll reply to you, and I will get that, uh, I'll get that address and send these cards out to you, bro. I'm glad that you can uh, enjoy these streams, and I'm glad I can send you some muscular Pokemon cards, bro. <laughs> But yeah, Angel, I appreciate you, man. Alcohol causes allergies, by the way. It's a histamine. Bro, really? I didn't know that. So I've really cut back on my drinking pretty heavily. So I, I've only drank, I try to only drink Fridays, but most weekends I've been drinking Fridays and Saturdays. Stephen from Tampa with a three ninety nine donation. Thank you, bro. Pokey Kobe with $10 Canadian for the culture. Thank you, Kobe. Um, but during quarantine, I got to a point where I was drinking like every day, and I really cut back, and now I'm only drinking on the weekends. Most weeks, only Friday, but sometimes Friday and Saturday. So maybe that is why my allergies are worse tonight. If I'm drinking alcohol, I have allergies, and if I drink, it always gets worse. Hmm. So my allergies, the worst day this week was yesterday, and I didn't drink at all yesterday or at all this week besides today. Magmar... Slowbro Spirit Link, Devolution Spray. I think what, what caused my drinking problem was when The Rock came out with his new brand of tequila, I bought like a whole, I bought like six of those, and I just kept them at the house. Bro, I, I killed that case of six tequila bottles in probably a month, which is a lot of tequila. 
what I was doing when quarantine first started and the rock launch at tequila, what I was doing was every night I would make myself, this is some super redneck shit, but I would make myself what I call a Mountain Dew margarita. So I would take, <laughs> it, it, it's exactly what it sounds like. It was a Mountain Dew. I would literally put, it was a diet Mountain Dew. I would literally put salt around the rim of my glass and I'll put three shots of the Rocks tequila in it. And I'll drink that every night while I was working on whatever videos. At the time, I was poking vi- or I was posting videos late at night. Um, but that's where it was becoming a problem for me. Tangela and an electrode. 150 grams of sugar, Nick. 150 grams of sugar from what? Not my not my Diet Mountain Dews, bro. That's a redneck margarita, bro. A Diet Mountain Dew and three shots of tequila? If that ain't Ohio, I don't know what is. Cosmo, bro, thank you for the 99-cent glizzy. I appreciate that, bro. Jeff the Ref. Hey, Chris, Kobe, Dub, and Tom. Jeff. No hay for me, bro. Bro. And we got a white one. I don't drink at all, but is Terramana that good? The thing, I think the thing that makes the Terramana so good and why so many people are going crazy about it is it's just so smooth. I mean, a lot of tequila has like a serious bite to it. Like when you take it, it like makes you make that face like, ooh, that was strong. But the Terramana, man, you can mix it with anything, hence the Diet Mountain Dew. And when you, it's just so smooth. It just goes down so smooth. It doesn't have that burn. It doesn't make you, it doesn't make you wince. I don't know. I like the Terramana, man. It's just, it's really, it's a really smooth tequila is how I would describe it. I haven't had it in a long time now because I probably quit. I probably quit that like last summer. Magmar. Vulpix. Now, the last time Chris came home, and Chris is coming home this May, so he's coming home in a month. The last time Chris came home, Jeff the Ref with a 99 cent glizzy. Thank you, bro. The last time Chris came home, we got this vodka that came in a... Was it the Skull bottle or the Alien bottle that we drank, Chris? Both. So there was some kind of vodka that comes in a skull-shaped bottle, and we drank that whole bottle. Me and Chris basically just split it in one night. Laura DeRosa, De La Rosa, this is good luck on the other half. Thank you. Thank you, Laura. Make me laugh a donate or you and Trunk Monkey get the time out. Chris is a tyrant, says Trunk Monkey. Electabuzz, drowsy. Man, I'm actually proud of myself. I made this stream last longer. We're not even halfway through, or we are halfway through, and we're past the hour mark. Honestly, I just hate when these streams come to an end because I have so much fun doing them. So I try to make them last longer. Blastoise Spirit Link Reverse, and behind that bad boy, we've got, ooh, man, I, I swear I thought that was going to be the Mega Charizard. A Mega Pidgeot EX. Not a bad hit. But honestly, a discouraging right half of the box. Not a single Charizard of any kind. Not a Mega Charizard. Not a Mega Charizard EX. Not a Full Art. Not a Hollow. Not a Reverse. No Charizards out of that first half. Actually, let's do a hit recap here, here guys. And can we get this video to 100 likes? we got 113 people watching right now. 87 likes. We're almost there. 100 likes before we start the next half of this box while we go through the hit recap. So this, this I count as a hit. A reverse Charmeleon, over $200 in a PSA 10. Hitmonchan Hollow, that's a good hit. Mega Pidgeot EX. Chansey, a really good hit. There's no population for the PSA 10 Chansey. It has not been graded yet, although I'm sure it will be in the coming months. Charmander Reverse, that's a hit for me. I just saw some donations in the chat. I'll get to that in a second. Raichu Hollow, Nine Tails Hollow, and Omega Pidgeot EX. So, in my opinion, guys, a pretty dry first half of the box, and we got 95 likes. Thank you, guys. Five likes away from that big hundred. You guys, you guys are on it. Um, let me see. What was the donation that I missed? I don't want to miss anybody's donation. Angel Mendez with another five dollars. Thank you, brother. Machamp to complete the real Pokey trifecta. Angel, bro, don't get greedy, my man. You want a hollow. Angel, I'll tell you what. If we do get a Machamp out of this box, 
This is a one time and one time only thing. I'm doing it for the people. I'm doing it for the culture. If there is a Machamp in this second half of the box, I will send that to Angel as well. Because Angel has donated, what, three or four times now, $5. He earned his Machamp. However, Angel, if we do not get him a champ, I'm sorry about your luck, bro. <laughs> See, the only problem is I love giving away cards because I know people, I know it makes people happy when I do it. But the only problem is once I start doing it, then everybody's going to start asking. I like to do it, but then I, I can only do so many. Chris. Or no, cars and cars doing the Lord's work. Thank you, cars and cars. I appreciate you. Hopefully, bro. Uh, Zach, I was just talking to Zach earlier today. I FaceTimed him as he was getting ready for his show. Actually, no, I didn't FaceTime him online. I was uh, talking to him on Instagram. Um, I was talking to Zach, and we do want to hang out with you, bro. If you ever come to uh, Cincinnati or if we come down to Kentucky, and we got a white code card. So, cards and cars, bro. Me, you, and Zach. Me, you, and Chris. Go get a drink or something and talk about these Pokemans. I was actually having a funny conversation the other day. Um, I went in to meet with my dad's accountants. We were talking about some of the stuff with my other channel um, and some of the different ways that they wanted to manage my money. And we were talking about how I started the Pokemon channel. And the uh, lawyer, the finance lawyer that was there, he kept referring to it as Pokemon. And he kept, he kept saying, you're Pokemon channel. And then... He was telling me what we were trying to figure out, and you guys might lend some uh, insights to this as well. What we were trying to figure out is, so with my Nick Strength and Power channel, like when I build my home gym, I write off the gym equipment there as a business deduction. It's a business expense because I film so many Instagram videos and stuff um, in my gym, and my physique is kind of part of my part of my stick. So the gym equipment and like advertising, different things I write off for Nick Strength and Power. So what the discussion became is now that this channel is monetized, can I write off or to what extent can I write off buying Pokemon cards to open on this channel? Now that this channel is making money, does, does buying Pokemon cards qualify as a business expense? Because I was thinking like Leonhart. Leonhart's full-time job is his channel. And to keep his full-time job going... He has to buy Pokemon cards. So I would think that Leonhart is certainly writing off Pokemon cards on his taxes. I mean, his whole business depends on it. His business wouldn't exist without it. Leonhart makes a very good argument for writing off Pokemon cards. So I guess you guys could lend me some... Uh, I'm sure there's there might be one or two financial experts in the, in the chat, but uh, what do you guys think about writing Pokemon cards off on your taxes? And again, now this channel is monetized. So these Pokemon cards that I'm opening, and these donations, for example, collectibles fall under a different category for expenses. So Poke Kobe, that's right. So here's here's what I here's the best way I can explain that. Like this computer, this keyboard, I write these off on my taxes. Hold on, let me read Steven's comment. Steven just donated $4.99. He says, hey, Nick, I own a condo in Ohio. If we need it, everyone can stay with me there. I'll fly up from Tampa and make it happen for everyone. So no hotel costs. Steven, where in Ohio? Where was I about to go with that story? Okay, so for example, my car, my computer, things like that. Technology. You can write those off on your taxes, but that is a depreciable asset. As technology gets older, the value goes down. So if you buy a brand new Mac... The value is only going to go down because there's only going to be newer Macs coming out. And as there's newer Macs, the older Mac value goes down. So collectibles fall under a very interesting category. Let me finish this pack so we don't uh, so we don't take too long. I think I've got a Mewtwo behind here. Oh, I need a King Hollow. So collectibles fall under a different category because when you're writing off stuff for your business, generally, the general rule is that those things for your business are going to depreciate over time. They're going to go down in value. If you buy a car... Um, for traveling for business, it's going to get less valuable. But with collectibles, it gets complicated because you're buying collectibles because they appreciate in value. So if you're buying collectibles for your business, but they're going up, they're going to go up in value, it makes it complicated because it is a business expense, but it can't be written off as a depreciable asset. So it makes it kind of complicated. And that was the conversation that I was having with these tax guys and these accountants the other day. 
um, because they didn't really understand the Pokemon thing at all. But I was explaining to them uh, some other stuff about my next power channel because I got I still got to get a lot of stuff figured out with that for uh, for taxes this year. But dude, it's it's some complicated stuff. I was in probably a three hour meeting with these accountants the other day. And again, it was mostly about the main channel, but they were having this whole conversation with me about depreciable and appreciative uh, assets and how it gets super complicated with collectibles. Because if you're running a collectible business, it's really hard not only to write off in your taxes, but the insurance on collectibles is very complicated because it's such a subjective asset. And that's a whole nother conversation for a whole nother video. But I was, I was trying to figure out let me read Steven's comment again. Another four ninety nine donation. He says, Lima, Ohio. The condo is about an hour and 40 minutes from Cincinnati. Okay, cool. That's not, yeah, that's not too far away. But yeah, the other conversation I was having was about insurance. And you guys might, uh, I don't know if you guys will know about that or not. So if any of you guys have like a very high value Pokemon collection, have you looked at getting that added? Um, I got it. What I did was I got it added as a rider to my insurance policy on my house. But the thing is, they said they're likely going to have to come and appraise. They want to come and appraise the collection quarterly to make sure that the value is accurate. Gary, the Pokemon King, says he ain't insured his collection because of the complication. Sorry, I just shook the camera like crazy. Yeah, I saw that same interview. It was on Graham, uh, Graham Stevens' show, wasn't it? I don't know why you wouldn't insure collectibles, especially when you're of that crazy high value like uh, like Gary has. I mean, Gary has what? He said like $7 million in Charizard or something crazy like that. You can insure collectibles. You can add them as a rider to your insurance policy on your house. If you keep them in your house in a safe, you can add them to your house, to your homeowner's insurance. But the thing is, they're probably going to want to come out and appraise the collection very frequently to make sure that whatever you're paying on. Just think about how fast the, uh, how fast Pokemon has appraised recently or appreciated recently. If you bought a policy on your Pokemon cards two years ago for a hundred thousand dollars, and that's what they were worth two years ago. And you're paying whatever rate for a hundred thousand dollar insurance. Those cards are probably worth like a million dollars today in just two years time because they've gone up in value so fast. So that's why the complicated part about it is having your insurance agent come out or whoever come out and appraise it for the insurance company to make sure that the value that you stated was accurate so that the insurance rate that you're paying is accurate. But I don't want to bore you guys. Drowsy reverse and a Mewtwo. Let me get back to the chat here. I started rambling for a bit. Talk to James at ZNG. He said that adding them to your homeowner's insurance is not the best solution. Well, right now, I don't have the most valuable cards. I don't have that valuable of a collection. None of my PSA returns are back. So I don't have a whole lot on my insurance policy right now. But when they do come back, I'm expecting to have some pretty valuable cards. So once they do come back, that's when I'm going to have to explore like some serious insurance. Right now, my insurance policy with Geico, my homeowner's insurance, it, it, it covers it. And it's a risk assessment too, so I get how the insurance company wouldn't want to. Yeah, a lot of, so that might be why mine did, because not it's not like a crazy high value. So it's, if it's not a if it's, if it's not a crazy high value, it's not a crazy high risk for them. So even if it's subjective, I'm talking like twenty thousand. That's pretty low for an insurance company to insure. Now, if I'm talking a hundred thousand plus, that's a different story. Secret rare executor. Maintenance, coughing, Machop, Pikachu. This is a good pack so far. Lewis Lukic was timed out by Pokey Kobe. What did he say? Idiot face. <laughs> Who's he talking to? Is he talking to me? Is he talking to one of you guys? Caterpie. Drowsy. I feel like I missed so much of what just happened in the chat. I don't know, but I appreciate the mods. Drowsy. Reverse Doug Trio. Shout out to Chris. Chris's birthday, by the way, coming up in five days. It's now the 10th. So if you want to find Chris's identity, <laughs> well, you don't know what year his birthday was, so. 
I opened seven packs today, and six of them had green code cards from Evolutions, Christian. That is some unlucky opening, my friend. Only those who can't see beyond their a their ego do. You disappoint me. Oh, are you Trunk Monkey and Crystal arguing? <laughs> Uh, honestly, guys, I love you guys, man. I've been looking forward to doing this stream for the past. I've been looking forward to this all week, man. I love doing these streams. It's super fun. I made a trip to the house today. My house, uh, my new house is about, it's actually about a half an hour with traffic from my house now. Um, and I went out there today to uh, pay the painter. And I made another trip out there this afternoon um, to grab this Evo's box because I love doing these these streams and I didn't want to miss doing a stream today. So I made two 30-minute back-and-forth streams or two 30-minute back-and-forth trips so I could do the stream. Let me know, Nick, if you want to use the condo for anything. Oh, I've got a few things I want to do in that condo, bro. I'm sure I'll think of something. Pokey Kobe with a dot forty nine Canadian glizzy. Thank you, bro. So what what part of Lima, Ohio? Is it in like a downtown area or is it is it like in a pretty rural area? Machamp, Natty or not? Oh yeah, we are looking for a Machamp for Angel. Zaminator coming back saying hello, Charizard. You think this is gonna be the Charizard pack, bro? Code card. And for the record, I had a feeling and I flipped it around. It is a white code card. West Ohio, Lima, rural. Okay. I didn't know if it was in kind of like a gentrified area where they opened a bunch of like little, uh, little breweries and stuff. I know a lot of the more rural Ohio places now have been trying to make these little hipster areas. I don't know if Lima was like that or not. Revive. Misty's Determination, another secret rare executor. And so far, what has been a pretty hitless box. Pikachu again, dude. We've got like seven or eight Pikachus now. Psychic Energy. A Charmander. Ooh, I thought it was going to be a Pikachu. Electabuzz, which Chris says he actually really likes this artwork on Electabuzz for Evolutions. Or was it, was it this one or a different one? You said that for a different set then. What was it? You said that. And behind the buzz. Ooh, what do we have here? I think it's a tra Is it a trainer? Oh, no, it's a Mewtwo. Oh, sweet. Okay, so there's the first really good hit of the night. Centering is god-awful. <laughs> Man, talk about evolution centering. Bro, look at left to right, guys. Look at that left to right centering. Only in evolutions do you see some trash like that, bro. Look how off-center that is, dude. I mean, it's like, dude, it's almost like a meme at this point. The centering and evolution, Trunk Monkey said beautiful centering. <laughs> I mean, dude, come on, man. Yeah, I think you might be right. It might. This might be worthy of an OC grade. Kurt says, bro, that's a 10. Bro, look at that left to right. And what makes what what's so hard for me to understand is all this stuff is automated. It's machines. It's printers. Like, how is their margin of error that big when they're printing these cards at the printer, or maybe it's the person, or maybe it's the machine cutting the cards? But how is the margin of error that big? Like, you would just set the dimensions in the computer, say cut it to this specification. Like, how is that that big of an error? I just don't get it. You would think with technology nowadays, you would say, this is the size that I want printed. I want it dead center. Like, I mean, how hard is it? It's a piece of paper with a print on it. Chris printed that card, says Adone. I feel like Chris is about to get offended in real life. PSA 7, near mint, the lowest I'll go. It's not a 10. Lazy when they're aligning us, says Kurt Thomas. Yeah, that could be it. 
Chris the Idiot Face. Oh, so Lewis is talking about Chris. Chris the Idiot Face, he timed me out for calling him a poopy head, but now it seems there are two idiot faces. Bro, I know you're not talking about me. Oh, you might be talking about whoever timed you out. I forget who it was. I think it was... <laughs> Pokey Kobe swooping in, doing the Lord's work. Full heel. Porygon. Ponita. Another... Dude, another Pikachu. Just for fun, says, do you play Pokemon Go? I Honestly, bro, I don't anymore. I used to. I was pretty heavy into it 2016, 2017. Diglett, shout out to Chris. Slowbro Spirit Link. Nick Bolitari says multiple different printing companies, so they can't do it all, I guess. Oh, so the, so can't quality control it all, I guess. But if that's the case, if Evolutions has multiple different printing companies, then why is Evolution so consistent with being inconsistent with their quality control? It seems like it's a set problem, not a printer problem. Unless this whole set was printed in one location. I would really be curious. I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube of like tours of how Pokemon cards are made and tours of the printing facilities. But I would really be curious to see the full explanation of like when a Pokemon set comes out, how many different areas, like how many different places they print one set. Like is there a place in the States that prints it? Is there another place in Japan? Is there a place in Canada? Or is it just one place that prints everything in all the language? Like, I'd, I'd just be curious to see. Did you see the Logan Paul NFT? Yeah, I did. I think Logan is kind of milking the NFT thing at this point, to be honest. Oh, why did Donate say help? We should get a Discord going for this channel. If someone wants to start a Discord for this channel, I'd be happy to, uh, I would encourage that. Or do I need to start it myself? Haunter. Revive. Do you think there's a future for NFT? I think there is, but I think it's going to be a short-lived one. I think it's going to get to the point where everybody, the way, how accessible NFTs are, I think everybody's going to start making one. The market's going to get flooded. People are going to get tired of it. There's going to be a lot of people trying to do a get-rich-quick type of thing with the NFTs. I think it's a good concept, but I think the way that it's so accessible, I could get on OpenSea right now, that website where you can buy and sell and create NFTs. I could get on there right now, make some bullshit NFT, and sell it. And I could probably make a pretty chunk of change on it, but that doesn't make it actually valuable. I could sell it because I've got a lot of followers and I could market it to a lot of people. And I think that's going to be the flaw with NFTs is you're going to have people that are going to be... Because the, the thing that people are trying to avoid with centralized currency and what they want with decentralized currency like crypto is they want to avoid people that can make these crazy market manipulation moves. And like influencers are finding out they can, ma they can manipulate the market for NFTs very easily. And that's why so many influencers are coming out with these stupid NFTs because they realize, let's just tell our followers that the future is, an, the future is gonna be in NFTs. And by the way, go buy mine. That's all they're doing. That's, that's all they're doing. Need a King break card. And behind him, another Beedrill. We'll put, that, we'll put the Need a King in a sleeve. But yeah, if you think about it, every influencer is on the NF NFT train. And I really think the reason is they realize that they have the power to manipulate that market because it's all about it's all about supply and demand. So if you got a bunch of people that follow you, that's going to create a demand for something that is in essence valueless, like Logan Paul's Pokemon card of himself. What value does that really hold besides marketing it to your followers and saying that you had or saying that NFTs is the future and that this has value. I mean, I don't know. But I'm not buying them. So I want to encourage you guys to buy them. I'm not buying any NFTs. I don't think there's I don't think there's a long-term future in them. But like some of the stuff that I was seeing on OpenSea, I think that's what the website's called. I might be mistaken, but I think it's called OpenSea. Some of the stuff that I'm seeing sell on there is just like valueless stuff selling for like $30,000. Like 
It's just like, dude, and we got a white code card. Just because it sells for that amount does not make it valuable, and it does not protect it from going back to zero. I mean, if you're the only person that's willing to pay $30,000 for whatever thing, it can easily drop to zero. Just because you paid that much for it doesn't mean there's anybody else that's willing to pay that much. And the NFT thing, again, the market is very subjective. Just like Pokemon is pretty subjective, but I don't know. It's complicated. Machop, Growlithe. But no, I'm not investing in any sort of NFTs. Magnemite, Porygon. And shout out to the beautiful, the voluptuous, Jay Taro. Mega Slowbro EX. Still no Machamp for our buddy Angel. The whole chat is poopy head, says Louis Lukic. What's an NFT? A non-fungible token. Like I said, I like the concept of NFTs. I get the idea. But I just don't see the long-term value because I think the market is going to be flooded and it's going to ruin. It's just going to oversaturate. Every influencer is going to have one. Every OnlyFans girl is going to have one. They're going to be selling their nudes as an NFT if they haven't been already. It's going to be, it's just going to be, it's, it's going to be saturated. I mean, that's the only way to describe it. I mean, think about it. If Logan Paul... One, he's been one of the most controversial, one of the most hated YouTubers, really. I like him. But he's one of the most hated YouTubers. If he can make a Pokemon card with him on it animated as this muscular cartoon character and sell them for $40,000 each, just an image on a computer of Logan Paul as a cartoon, how much long-term value do you really think something like that has? It's silly. It's a get-rich-quick scheme is the way that I look at the majority of NFTs. There might be some long-term NFTs that do really well over time, but I think the majority of them is going to be oversaturated garbage that people paid too much for. There was a lot of hype behind. There's a lot of influencers behind, and it's going to drop. If it looks too good to be true, if it sounds too good to be true, if it looks stupid and not worth the money, it probably is. A Logan Paul Pokemon card digital file, probably not worth $40,000, right? I think it's just one of those common sense things. Growlithe. Fairy energy. Reverse. Guys, what is going on with this box? I feel like this has been a pretty non-eventful evolution of the box. I'm going to be very, very disappointed if we're not able to get a Charizard out of this. Gen Z. Chris says, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Do you buy a whiskey as an investment or to drink it? I just buy it to drink it, bro. Heat is coming, brother. Best believe it. Yeah, I mean, dude, in the past, it, the Charizard is always in, like, the last four packs. Kakuna. Oh, that was two cards. Kakuna, Slow Bro Spirit Link, Brock's Grit, Vulpix. Electabuzz, Drowsy, Ponita. Do you have any booster boxes sealed or do you open them all? I could have sworn I had three total sealed before I opened this one tonight. I thought I had two more, but I guess I don't. When I went home and checked my safe, I didn't have any more, but I am going to buy another six. I'm going to buy them tonight. Oh, okay. I like the Electrode. But to answer your question, I guess I don't have any more sealed. Someone might... I mean, I'm almost thinking someone might have stolen because I'm kind of suspicious as to what happened to him. I'm pretty, I'm like 99% sure I have three Evolutions boxes in my gun safe. And my gun safe is pretty big. There's a lot of shit in there right now, so I could be mistaken. I could very well be mistaken. But I thought I had three sealed. I guess this was my last one. So I'm going to have to buy some more tonight for the next month and a half. And a case should get the job done. So what, we got about a quarter of the box left. I've had a good night chatting with you guys. The viewers are exactly equal with the likes. 115, 115. Now that is what I like to see. That's very 
aesthetically pleasing. Someone take care of Nick while I'm dead. Bro, what? <laughs> White code card. I think we've got some heat incoming. Someone stole your Pokemon cards over the guns. Depends on the person, man. They might not have wanted the guns. You could probably sell Pokemon cards easier than you can sell guns these days. Especially with Sleepy Joe in office. But don't tell anybody I said that. Blastoise Spirit Link, Energy Retrieval, Kakuna, Weedle, Magikarp, Energy, Vulpix, Nidoran. Oh, man, that is a clean-looking one, too. That centering looks nice to me. Maybe maybe a little bit off from top to bottom. Now, that is a nice-looking reverse Pikachu. $500, I believe, in the PSA 10. That's a nice-looking Pikachu. And behind that, Clefairy. So a good pack overall. Chris with a 99 cent unicorn. I hope you pull a staff card. Examinator, what is your obsession with staff cards, bro? When the new Pokemon set comes out in, Zo in June, will you be opening it? Yeah, bro, 100%. Even though I already opened the Japanese version, I think there's going to be some variations between the Japanese and the English. And besides, I want the English versions of the cards, too. I think it's going to be cool. Get rid of that serial number and your Gucci, says Tom Riddle. Do you have a 3D printer? You have an Ender, an Ender 3. Ender 3 Pro, I believe. I mean, Zaminator, bro. If you want to send me some staff cards, I'd be happy to have some. I don't have any. Uh... Megan Foster, who is one half of Poke Barn. Thank you for stopping by. Good luck on the packs tonight. Nick, Zach, and I say hello and good night. Pull a Charizard. Good night, guys. Thank you for stopping by. Megan. Megan and Zach, a.k.a. Pokey Barn, on Instagram and YouTube. Print guns and sell them, says Tom Riddle. And if you guys stick around to the end, we will do another giveaway on this video, and we will do the results um, for the last week's giveaway at the end of this video. So we'll do the random comment generator and all that good stuff at the end. Hey, Nick, how are the biceps? It says Cool Sauce. Pretty good. Charizard Spirit Link. Metapod. Pokey Kobe says, I'll be back in 10. Everyone be funny. See you soon. Pokey Kobe, take a sip for me, bro. Take a sip for me and Chris. Hey, Nick, you want me to DM you or Chris for the future meetup if needed? I don't think Chris has a, uh, I don't think Chris has an Instagram, but you can DM me, bro. Polywag. Voltorb. I think we'll probably do something, um, We'll probably all go to like a bar or something. We don't necessarily have to all sleep together in the same place. We could all go to a bar or something, though. Professor Oaks Hint. Man, this has been a... Speaking of Sleepy Joe, it's been kind of a sleepy box of Evos, man. That Mewtwo full art, I think, was the only exciting thing. Megan Foster says, keep up the good work, Nick. Thank you. Man, it's getting late. I've been drinking wine. I think I'm going to dance with the devil tonight. What do you think? <laughs> a little salmon on there. Trunk monkey and a donate still going at it. Got a powerlifting competition in the morning. Hope you pull a Charizard. More like sleepy Charizard. Actually, I'll save, I'll save this... Uh, I'll save this grizzly for later. Just do some coca and your night will live up. I'm in love with the coca. Can you please use your knife to cut a rat? 
I'll do that for you. If we get another rat. We haven't gotten them a champ for Angel yet. But if we do, Angel, I gotcha. Oh. Blastoise Spirit Link Energy Retrieval Ponyta. Another Pikachu. Poliwag. Caterpie. Diglett. Reverse Starmie. It's an Arcanine. Ah, shit. That's not what I like to see. It's not what I like to see at all. Tom and Jay flirting it up, flirting it up. Sleepy Charizard, says Zaminator. Don't make me get OT Genesis. I hope you have a nice EDC knife. What does that mean, EDC? Why did the likes just, did it, why are the likes going down? Why did the likes just drop like six likes? Did someone like this six times or something? That was weird. I've never seen that before. That was like the weirdest thing. It went from like 120 to 114. And fellas, it's a white code card. Are we going to pull any? Dude, we haven't pulled any Charizards in this box so far. We need to get... <laughs> Tom Riddle says, YouTube doesn't like what we're saying, so they're taking likes away. I know you're joking, Tom, but I actually feel like that could be possible. Pidgeot Spirit Link. Nidorino. Can we pull a Charizard tonight? Ghastly. Magikarp. Electabuzz. Vulpix. I see some heat in the back. Doduo Reverse. And Omega Blastoise EX. Guys, we're over three, three quarters of the way through this box. And we still have not pulled a single Charizard of any form. Could this be the weakest Evolutions box on the face of the Earth? Or could these next five packs be all Charizards? Anything can happen in Evos. All right, so we do have, yeah, five packs left. Hopefully we get something good. Louis Lukic says, I just saw the light counter go down in real time. Yeah, dude, it was weird. Now I think people might be doing it just to joke around. But um, when I first saw it, it went from like 121 down to 114 in like a second. It was weird. But now that I said that, I feel like people are doing it just to mess with me. But I don't know how seven likes in one second would have been how someone would have done that before. I only have two Evo boxes. This is making me nervous. I won't get a Zard with this. I've definitely opened probably two boxes in a row with no hollow Zard. I think we got a regular, like a Mega Charizard or something, but or a Charizard EX. I think I hear Chris Ping on his uh, FaceTime. Machop, Growlithe, another Pikachu. Let's get this back to 120 likes and see if it drops again. I'm hoping it doesn't drop. Charmander, Poliwhirl Reverse. Ooh, another Arcanine. Dude, are you kidding me? Dude. What is that, the third Arcanine or the fourth? I feel like they're not letting this video get past 120. It's like, it's gone up a couple, then gone down a couple, then gone back up a couple. That's weird. Waiting on that flesh and blood, Nick. How much is a booster box of that flesh and blood? Code card. Let's see if it's a white. 
Nope. Greg BP says, whoa, that's weird. You're right. The dislikes went down too. Wait, now that's now that's kind of weird. Why are the likes changing and the dislikes are changing too? How are they going down? Yeah, that's weird, dude. You think that you think YouTube is messing with the video? <laughs> Probably 30 of Nikhil's accounts. Volpix reverse. The Doug Trio. Guys, we got three packs left. Yeah, it is weird. Anthony says, that's weird, bro. Bro, it's weird. You think the people that disliked, they probably just don't like me, so that you would think they would leave their dislike. So it's weird to see those go away. And the likes, dude, for the likes to drop seven likes in a span of a second would have to be super coordinated or one person just from one person working for Google just deleting all the likes. I don't know, dude. That was weird as hell. How could you be messing with both? And we got a white code card again. So we've got three packs left. We are still completely zardless. Guys, try to overwhelm whatever is going on. Spam some likes on this video. If it's Nikhil, if it's YouTube... Whatever's happening is weird. I want to see if we can overpower it. Metapod. Devolution spray. Energy. Can we break that 120 and stay above it is what I'm wondering. Diglett. Charmander. Bridget Minji says, super happy you're streaming. I got the vaccine today and I'm having some side effects, including insomnia. My husband and I live in Indiana about 30 minutes away from Cincy. He grew up in Cincy. My girlfriend, Bridget, is actually from Indiana. And her name is Bridget as well. I'm sorry that you are suffering those side effects, but hopefully you get well soon. A seal, a magnemite, a ghastly, ratata reverse, and shout out to Jayataru, a slow bro EX. Guys, what is going on with this box? This has been the coldest evolutions box I think I've ever opened. So we have two packs left of evolutions out of this box. I was getting excited to pull a Charizard tonight. Can we pull one Charizard of any kind tonight? Can we break the 120 likes on this video? Will the Nick Strength and Pokemon brand new logo bring us some luck? Yes, we're at 120. Okay, cool. Let's see what we can do. You guys pick the next pack. Raichu or Charizard. Laura DeRosa with them big old smiles. I don't know why I keep saying Laura DeRosa. I know it's De La Rosa, but I apologize, Laura. Throw the whole box away if there's no Zard, says Kobe. Right! The first comment is right, so we're going with Raichu on the right. All right, guys. Wish me luck. We'll go through the hits after this, but it has been a pretty cold box. Code card. I'll just show you guys what it is. Let's see. The right pack is a green code card. Not a good sign, but there's still a chance. Professor Oak's Hint. Metapod. Devolution Spray, Voltorb, Machop, Growlithe, Magnemite, Reverse Electrode, and Eradicate. Damn, man. 
One pack left, and keep in mind, guys, stay stay on here because after this pack, we're still going to do the giveaway. We're going to figure out what we're going to give away from this stream, and we're going to pick the winner from the last stream. Let me find that envelope right here. Let's see. I guess it would be... I guess 4-3. Four, 4-3 three. Four, three was, four, was the last stream. And I mean, why did I seal it? I sealed it last stream. But whatever I gave away from last week's video, this is that. We're picking the winner for this at the end of this video, and we're going to show you guys what the next giveaway will be. So if you want to see what was in this vi in this envelope, go to the end of the last live stream. That's whatever's in here. All right, what did I miss in the chat? Okay, cut the rat, cut the rat. Oh, yeah, someone did tell me to cut the rat. I don't know if my knife is sharp enough, but I'll give the rat at least an attempt at a slice. I don't want to cut my finger. I want to go full penetration on this rat. You think we can stick right through? Oh, we got some good penetration on the rat. It's just like some, this feels like I'm doing some weird kind of fetish work here. That was kind of satisfying. That was a pretty smooth cut. All right, guys. The final pack of this Evolutions opening is a Charizard artwork pack. It was the left-hand side. You guys picked the Raichu pack on the right. Now, historically... The left-hand side has been the luckier side when it comes to evolutions. So, the Charizard forces that be. Will we receive a Charizard out of this evolutions pack? So far, this box has been Charizardless. Let me sleeve up this uh, slow bro over here in honor of Jay Taru. Forgot to put this guy in a sleeve. But so far, a pretty underwhelming box of evolutions. Last week, was it last week we had that heavy hitter box of Evos? We're on our last pack. Will we get the OG Hollow Zard? Will we get a Mega Charizard, a Charizard EX, or a Mega Charizard EX? We're about to find out. So on this one, I will not show you guys the color of this code card. I will leave this for the mystery of the chat. Can we get some positive energy in the chat, some likes on this video? I want to see a Charizard in this last pack, last pack magic code card out of the way. I'm not going to look at it. You're not going to look at it. Will this be the heat, the fire in this Evos pack? No Charizard so far. No major hitters besides really the Mewtwo. Blastoise Spirit Link. Energy Retrieval. Kakuna, Rattata, sounded like Kakuna Matata, Diglett, Ghastly, Caterpie, Electric Energy, in our reverse, I think, yep. If that's a Beedrill, I swear to God, dude. No, it's a Staryu. And the card behind this will make or break... This entire night. If this is not a good card behind here, I would say this was a cold Evo's box. we got 142 watching right now. Can we pull a Charizard for the people in the chat, or am I about to feel the ultimate pain? And it looks like I'm about to feel some pain. What do we have here? A Dugong to end the Evolutions box. we got to go through the hits here really quick and show you guys exactly how cold this Evolutions Evolutions box tonight was. This Evolutions box might have been the coldest Evos box I ever opened. And that's the game you play. This is an important public service announcement for people that are just getting into Pokemon, buying boxes, thinking it's a great investment. You can buy a really good box or you can spend $1,000 on an Evolutions box and get a bunch of crap out of that box that you don't want. So, out of an entire $1,000 box of Evos, these are the hits for the night including some reverses that I thought were a hit. <clears throat> a Slowbro EX. A Mega Blastoise EX. 
a Clefairy Hollow, a Pikachu Reverse. So the, this Reverse Hollow is worth about 500 bucks, which I think is a good hit. A Mega Slowbro EX, a Nidoking Break, a Mewtwo EX, a Nidoking Hollow, a Mega Pidgeot EX, a Ninetales Hollow, a Raichu Hollow, a Charmander Reverse, a Chansey Hollow. A Mega Pidgeot EX and a Hitmonchan Hollow. Let me turn the camera. So that's the hits. Kobe says, I've only had three boxes that had zero Charizards out of 200 plus. This box still slaps, though. You're laughing. Yeah, I don't. Out of all the Evos boxes I've opened, I don't think I've opened one yet that hasn't had any Charizard of any kind. I think this might be the first one that was completely Charizard less. All right, so now, guys, we're going to do the giveaway. So first, let's do the giveaway from last week. Let me minimize Chris here. We'll do the random comment generator. All right, where is that app at? Just give me a second here. YouTube picker, okay. Let me minimize Chris. So this was for... This was the giveaway on the last Evolution stream. So to enter that giveaway, all you had to do was comment in the comment section of that video, and this will be the same thing. So uh, let me copy and paste the link here. Do, do, do. Next strength of Pokemon. Bear with me for a second, fellas. All right, here we go. Evolutions Fridays with the boys. And that had 3.5 thousand views. Awesome. I didn't realize that got that many views. So we'll copy that link. We'll go over to YouTube Picker. Paste that link, and it should pick a comment. Confirm video. Ah, oh, these stupid gems again, dude. We just need to buy four gems, I guess. Dude, what kind of app makes you buy a little gem to give something away? I mean, come on, dude. Laura De La Rosa with the flames. Thank you, Laura. I appreciate you. Get, dude, come on. Do I have the gems now or what? All right, confirm video. I guess we have the gems. Start giveaway. Number of winners, we want one. All right. Dude, come on. We want one. Start giveaway. Jeremy Johnson, the winner of last week's giveaway. Shout out to Jeremy. Jeremy, let me screenshot this. Jeremy Johnson, I don't think I've seen you in the chat tonight, but if you guys can let me know, if you guys know Jeremy, let him know. Jeremy Johnson, won the giveaway. So I got a, I got a screenshot of that and hopefully we'll get Jeremy his, uh, his card. So this week's giveaway, that's what we want to figure out, right guys? That's what we're here for. Where did I put the Yu-Gi-Oh cards that we opened last night? That's what I'm, okay. They're over here. All right. So let's, let's see what we got from tonight that we want to give away here. All right. Give me a second. Trying to figure out what Yu-Gi-Oh cards to give away. So here's tonight's cards. All right, here's the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So what can we do here? What the F? You opened Yu-Gi-Oh. I missed it. Yeah, bro, we opened the uh, Maximum Gold. So what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to make this a pretty sweet, sweet giveaway for you guys. So I opened a whole booster box of Maximum Gold. Chris with a 99 cent glizzy. I opened it yesterday. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys every gold rare card out of this, except for the uh, red eyes and the Gaia's that I pulled. So we'll do this guy. We'll give you guys all of these beautiful gold rares. So here's one. Fantastical Dragon Phantasma. Let's see how many we got. So what do we open? 20 packs. 
don't worry, we're going to add some Pokemon cards to this, but if you guys like these beautiful golden Yu-Gi-Oh cards, this will be good for you. And I think that'll be a better way to do the giveaway. There's another one. Whoop, okay. That wasn't a gold card, so that doesn't matter. I guess I can just do it from the side here. You can kind of see which ones are gold from the side. We got this guy here, Cosmo Town. Pokey Kobe says, train gains. So stay tuned for a second, guys. We're going to get all these giveaway cards together, and then I'm going to announce how to enter the giveaway. And then on next week's Evolution stream, we'll pick a winner for this giveaway, which I think will be cool. All right. All right, that's a lot of Yugi gold cards. Let's give... We'll give that many. In case you guys aren't a huge Yu-Gi-Oh fan, let me look through and see how many more there are in here. Here's another one. And here's another one. All right, that's probably enough Yu-Gi-Oh since this is a Pokemon channel. So a hefty, pretty hefty pile of gold rares there. Not a shabby pile of gold rares. So these are all gold rare Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Let's do a slow bro, mega slow bro EX in case Jay Ataro wins. Regular slow bro Pidgeot. Let's see, what, what do we want to throw in here? How do we want to spice this up? Everyone, I see everyone joke when I do these giveaways that I don't care much about break cards. We'll throw in the Nidoking break because I always throw in a break card. Yeah, this really wasn't that. You know what, guys? I think Nine Tails is a pretty spicy pool. That's a good. I think that's a pretty solid giveaway right there, guys. And of course, we got the cards for Angel. So this is what I'll give away. I guess you won't see me, but good night, man. Says Charlie Navarro. Thank you, Charlie, for stopping by. So we got these Pokemon cards. All of them are hits. And then a big old pile of gold rare Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Let me get a fresh baggie for these. So all you have to do to enter the giveaway for this week is like this video, subscribe to the channel, of course. And when this live video ends, go to the replay of the video and leave in the comment section, not in the chat, in the comment section, simply, which do you prefer? Because this is a dual giveaway, which do you prefer, Yu-Gi-Oh!, or Pokemon, simply comment which was your favorite and why in the comment section of this live stream when it ends. Tell a story. Tell, you know, just talk about your childhood experience with either one, Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh!, some nostalgic comments. And um, we'll do a random comment generator to pick the winner for that on the next Evo stream. This is the 4-10 giveaway. So you will get some Yugi's and some Pokies, whoever wins this giveaway. So like the video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure to leave a comment on this video when the live stream ends. Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh, which was your favorite and why? I think I'm going to call it there, guys. Thanks for stopping by. I love chatting with you guys tonight. Um, I mean, it was cool, man. I hope to see you guys next Friday. Thanks for stopping by. Nick Strength and Pokemon, signing out.